Hello, I'm Dr. Sandra Freyhofer, liaison to ACIP, the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. Welcome to this new segment in ACP's Adult Immunization Video Series. The topic, new flu vaccinations, recommendations for older adults. Certain vaccine versions are now preferred. Everyone six months and older needs flu vaccination every year. That hasn't changed, but flu shot recommendations for those 65 and older have. Understand it's better to get any flu shot than no flu shot at all, but three specific vaccine products are now preferred for adults 65 and older. Two of them are higher dose versions. The third one contains an adjuvant. Here's a rundown of the three preferred options for those 65 and older. Let's begin with the highest dose flu vaccine currently available. It's abbreviated HD for high dose vaccine. It's four times stronger than regular standard dose flu shots. There's only one high dose flu shot currently available and it's sold under the brand name Fluzone High Dose. The other higher dose option is the recombinant influenza vaccine, abbreviated RIV. It's three times stronger than standard flu shots. The only recombinant flu vaccine currently available is sold under brand name FluBlock. The third vaccine on the list of preferred options is adjuvanted inactivated influenza vaccine, abbreviated little a IIV. It's the same strength as regular standard dose flu shots, but an adjuvant MF59 has been added to boost its immune response. The only adjuvanted flu shot currently on the market is sold under the brand name Flu ad. So why this new preferential recommendation for older adults? And why now? Older adults are at increased risk for severe influenza-associated illnesses, hospitalization, and death. Flu vaccines are often less effective in older adults. ACIP's flu workgroup conducted a comprehensive evidence review and concluded higher dose vaccines and adjuvanted vaccines were more effective than standard dose vaccines in protecting older adults. That's the basis for this new preferential recommendation. This extra protection comes with some minor trade-offs. There are more injection site and systemic reactions with high dose and adjuvanted vaccines as compared to standard dose vaccine. However, injection site reactions after the recombinant vaccine were about the same or maybe even a little bit less as compared to standard dose inactivated vaccine. All flu vaccines available this season are quadrivalent, meaning they cover four flu strains, two flu A's and two flu B's. Standard dose inactivated flu vaccine contains 15 micrograms of antigen per virus strain covered. Adjuvanted flu vaccine has the same amount of antigen as standard dose, but adds the M59 immune adjuvant, which boosts immunity. Recombinant vaccine at 45 micrograms for virus strain triples the antigen dose. High dose quadruples the antigen dose to 60 micrograms per virus strain. These preferential recommendations are only for those 65 and older. For everyone else, any age and health condition appropriate vaccine is fine. Age indications for high dose and adjuvanted shots starts at 65. The recombinant vaccine can be given to adults starting at age 18. And for older adults, a regular flu shot's fine if the higher dose or adjuvanted vaccine is not available. So when's the best time to get your flu shot? For most people, the ideal time to get vaccinated is September, October. Vaccination should continue as long as flu circulating and vaccines available. Vaccine-induced immunity with, wanes with time, so getting vaccinated for flu in July and August may be a little early and could mean protection won't last the entire season. But we don't want to miss opportunities to vaccinate. It takes about two weeks after vaccination to build up protective antibodies. For more details, check out ACIP's Comprehensive Flu Vaccination Recommendations on the CDC website. For the American College of Physicians, I'm Dr. Sandra Freyhofer.